Good morning everybody. Today's date is Wednesday the 20th of January and we're continuing to write our own traditional tales with a twist, our own versions of the pea and the princess, or some of you might have the carrot and the princess, or the tomato and the princess. So we're going to continue today to write the next part of our story. You all did some fantastic build-ups yesterday and wrote lots and lots of description for me, so very well done. You're definitely using lots of adjectives to describe. Here's our success criteria again, just to remind ourselves. We're thinking about capital letters at the start of sentences, full stops at the end of our sentences, using lots of lovely adjectives to describe, and trying to put some adverbs in too. Remembering also that we're writing in the past tense, so we're going to use those ED endings. And don't forget to use your Fred Talk to help you spell words. Let's have a look at the part of the story we're going to write today. So, yesterday, you all wrote up to this part here, where the prince was going to travel the world to find a princess. But he found out that they were all too loud or too quiet or too energetic. Let's have a look at mine from yesterday to help us to carry on today. You might want to go back to your writing from yesterday and have a read through it before you start. I was picked out by the Queen. Before I go any further, I must tell you a little bit about the Queen. She was a very grumpy Queen who was always nagging the Prince and saying, You must find a princess or I will send you to work in the palace allotment. The Queen was very old and had a long pointy nose like a carrot. She always wore a pink and green scarf and never smiled. The prince left the palace and travelled far and wide, but could not find a princess who was right. They were all too loud or too strange or too energetic. OK, so I'm going to carry on from there. I'm going to carry on to this part here where I explain the test that the queen is going to set and that actually they couldn't find princess that way they were all too polite and you're going to get to the part where there is a knock on the door so we're going to describe the stormy night this part here as well where there's a knock on the door and someone is going to arrive at the palace who is going to marry eventually the prince but we'll do that part tomorrow the end part tomorrow so we're just going to do this part today so I'm going to start with when when the prince came home that's from travelling the world, the Queen was very cross. She told the Prince that she would find him a princess by putting me, the pea, under 20 mattresses. Then she would know if there was a real princess. OK. I might go on to say, after lots and lots of princesses, they were all too polite and none of them said anything about me. One stormy night when the wind was howling and the rain was pounding on the palace roof, there was a knock at the door. Standing in the doorway was a very wet looking person who's, who, where the water was pouring out from her shoes. The queen thought to herself, could this be the princess? I'm sure you've got some fantastic ideas of your own but you can always listen back to the video if you need some help. OK, I can't wait to read the next part of your stories. You're almost there, everyone. OK, so you've just got today's writing and then we're going to finish our stories off tomorrow. Well done, everyone, and I can't wait to see your work on Dojo.